Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to do a quick um, general intuitive energy read for the collector. Don't know what's coming out. going to start off with the makeshift deck. See what Master Spirit has for you at this time, collective. Thanks for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. So we had a few come out. There's a karmic who wants to cause trouble for you. Okay. This third party karmic apparently has been stalking you. Okay. Wow. Huh. Somebody's person turned on them for this for this karmic. Okay. Yeah, whoever you are, let me see. Your person, yeah, let every let everybody believe lies about you. From masculine here, okay. But you're a rare jewel, whoever you are. The most high told them to leave you alone. Okay. The most high told them to leave you alone. So let's see what this energy is revealing at this time. So the karmic wants to cause trouble for you. Whoever this karmic is has been stalking you. Your person's turned on you for this karmic. And they let everybody believe these lies about you, apparently from this karma. But you're a real jewel, whoever you are. And the most I told these people to leave you alone. Okay, but for some reason they was hard headed and they didn't listen. Wow. When you don't listen to the most high, the universe will spank that ass. So let's see. But how could your person, yeah. Straight, straight, straight out, straight out the box. The most high told them to leave you alone. Okay, that you're a red jewel here. Okay, they were trying to cause conflict with you here. Okay, you know, thought they'd make fun of you or make a joke out of something here. Have you fighting with this third party or have this third party lying on you and this your person not standing up for you? Putting you in a compromising position, okay? Wow. Hmm. I'm getting here that your karmic uh, person wanted you in this... Uh, third party karmic to get into it yeah because they wanted to see you know some adventure you know something adventurous here they wanted to see what would happen all right they wanted to see uh, wow which one of you guys had the most love for them hmm but see you're a real jewel here this karmic ain't got shit on you huh Somebody's going to get rejected in this situation here. Or somebody's going to get broke off something. A little something, something. Y'all know I'm just trying to keep it real. Well, shit, because shit. So what's going on here, spirit? Your person turned on, the, uh, turned on you for this fucking karmic. Who the fuck is this karmic? And who does this karmic think the fuck they are? Yeah, they're going to want your forgiveness. Because the most I told them to leave you the fuck alone. And see, they didn't listen. I said, the universe will spank that ass, okay? You've been man of your business, man of your business, and not in theirs, okay? And they over here trying to guilt trip you about some shit you ain't have shit to do with. Disturbing your peace and your tranquility here. I don't know, something about a confession. Somebody going to want your forgiveness because, like I said, the universe is going to spank this person's ass, whoever this is, or and your person's, okay, for turning on you for this fucking karmic here, okay? Letting everybody believe some lies about you, okay? Yeah, because they wanted out of the commitment, but they didn't have to let the lies go on. They should have put an end to that shit, but they didn't. They should have put an end to the lies, okay? Mm. And now they, they overwhelmed or they about to be overwhelmed here. So what else is here, Spirit? They wanted to pitch you with this karma to see what would happen. Your person did. Your person wanted to see some drama, some action between y'all two. But Spirit warned your person to stop. But your person was... Wow. Wow. They got the third party stalking you. They let everybody believe these lies about you. They done turned the karmic on. Turned, turned on you for the karmic. So your person done turned on you. 
for this karmic masculine or this karmic feminine and they only want to cause trouble for you and see now that your person that got y'all too into it spirit and told them to stop it but they want to see some action okay you just manage your fucking business but somebody gonna want your forgiveness okay yeah because they didn't really want to challenge you or they gonna realize that you ain't the one to be fucked with because they gonna fall into their own trap that they set for you it's the one that they gonna fall in yeah they try to make you a victim here lure you into some bullshit okay into a fight with a with a third party karmic your person did this shit trying to make you a victim because they turned on you for the karmic what the hell is going on here spirit and they know they're guilty but see at the end of the day they're gonna want your forgiveness they turned on you for this bitch or this motherfucker let everyone believe lies about you and everything else and this karmic now this karmic going to start trouble okay they've been stopping you too but see, the most high told them to leave you alone. Leave you alone. Leave you the fuck alone. Okay, I'm going to say it like Spirit said. Yeah, trying to make you a victim. You know, trying to lure you into, into their bullshit or whatever. Your person just wanted to see a motherfucking fight. Wanted to see you and you in this karmic fight over them. Okay, be a feminine or masculine. They just want to see some action or some drama here. What else is here, Spirit? Because they wanted to fulfill a fantasy here. They wanted to, I don't know, see what it would feel like to have two people fight over them. Okay, you, you're dealing with a karmic narcissist asshole. Okay, especially if they want you to fight over them. Who wants to fight over somebody who's a fucking cheater? Okay, yeah, they sacrifice their own self. They can't sacrifice you. That's what Spirit said. The Most High told them to leave you alone. What else is here, Spirit? You're a rare jewel here. Your person was willing to compromise you for a fucking karmic. Tell us more, spirit. You ain't trying to hear none of what they talk about. You know they lying on you. You're not trying to hear it, but you're not trying to hear all the gossip and rumors either. Okay? Because now it's got this karmic all riled up wanting to fight you behind what your person said. And your person that turned on you for this fucking karmic here. Okay. Oh yeah. Not just them, but they had a whole group of people turn against you. Your person did. Okay. Wow, they set this whole shit up. Your person set this whole shit up. But they ain't ready for what's gonna happen to them. They thought they wanted this, this type of attention to see who wanted to fight over their funky ass. But they going to see it wasn't worth it. They're going to get caught on their own trap. Oh, yeah. Because they're going to get some disturbing news. Or something disturbing is going to happen to this person here. Okay. Yeah, because they told lies and had everybody point a finger at you. Okay. Thinking that you was guilty of something. You was good to this person, too. And they turned on you for nothing. And they had other people turn against you for nothing. You and this person probably broke up. They had some bullshit. But believe it or not, your, your, your karmic person uh, uh, turned on you for the karmic. Now that's some fucked up shit right there. Ah, damn. They prompted the whole situation to take place here. Just because they want to see some drama between you two. Okay, we are two masculines or two feminists that are fighting, okay, over this karmic lover. Or they want this karmic lover wants you to fight over them. They want you to fight the third party. So, you know, they got everybody believing these lies. And your person turned on you for the karmic here. But this is not a way. If a person wants to end a relationship, this is not the way to do it. If this is you doing this shit, this is not the way to do it, to, to, you know, Pit two people against each other to fight over your stupid ass because you ain't even worth fighting over whoever the fuck you are. Okay? You got shit for brains. 
if you think that's the way, but you're going to live and learn. That's what Spirit said. Because Spirit told you to leave the uh, divine feminine, divine masculine the fuck alone. They was man in their motherfucking business. You want to see if they'll fight over you. Nobody want to fight over your stupid dumb ass. You got everybody lying on, on, on your person. You even turned on your person for the damn karmic. Who wants your ass anyway? You're fucking disturbed in the mind. You was even looking up other people to go against your person. Along with this damn karmic. Just to see a fucking fight. The bad family, the bad master, you don't get justice in this situation. That's what spirit said. Because spirit warned them and told them to leave you the fuck alone. So let's see what else they may have been up to. Spirit, what's going on here? Why did this uh, karmic person turn against that person? Because whoever this karmic was, uh, they weren't just friends. They was lovers. Okay? They weren't just friends. They was lovers. And you may have found out about it. And they wanted you to find out about it. So they spread a bunch of lies out about you. That you said this about the karmic. And so now the karmic feeling some type of way. Now they want to, you know, come at you and start some shit with you. Cause trouble for you. And it's all because of your motherfucking person. They got this shit started in the first place. Now they weren't just friends. This karmic and your person. They was motherfucking lovers. You may have thought they was just friends. Till this beef got started. These lies. And see, now your person want to approach you, but they're afraid to now. They want to talk, but they're afraid to approach you. Okay? They want to talk about it. Uh-huh. Because, see, things are being made fair for you here. This person's going to want to apologize and confess. Okay? Because they know that you was just minding your business. They got a whole bunch of shit, a whole bunch of drama started. And now they can't stop it. It's like a fucking ripple effect. It's like, wow, domino effect here. This shit is all going to come back and circle around to your person for starting this shit, cheating with the, with this person that they called a friend, but they was really lovers in the first fucking place. Because your, your motherfucking person is a narcissist, and they, they want to be a player, and they want to see you and this person fight each other. Okay, yeah, they started all these rumors, gossip, and lies about you. Yeah, your person did that shit. Your person is a narcissist. Yeah, spirit said they played too many games. Okay, what else is here, spirit? They play too many games. They put they put your life in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? Like they put you in a situation that you had nothing to do with. All right, you was busy minding minding your business. All right, Spirit is gonna make this person confess their guilt to you and give you an apology. Okay. Yeah, they gonna know they really blew it with you. They gonna know they really blew it with you, collective. Whatever you said to them, they got them thinking. Okay? And they got to know that they blew it with you. Okay? This karmic was just spiteful and jealous and wanted you go. Okay? Because they was believing the lies that your person was help spreading about you not liking the karmic. Even you, you may not even know who the karmic was. Or this could have been somebody that your person said they were just friends with. But they were really lovers. Well, your person going to live and learn about playing these type of games here. Okay. Because they thought it was a game. They thought this was a game here. But it had a domino effect. And it's going to bounce right back and land in their fucking lap. All oh, these sex tapes going to reveal everything. About the lies they told on you and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your person is a three-headed snake. Not just a snake, but they a three-headed snake. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. They should have friend zoned this karmic, but instead they they was a lover. Okay, when they should have friend zoned them. Okay, because this karmic was already spiteful and jealous of you and wanted you gone. Okay, and your person ain't nothing but a three headed snake here. Now there's some sex tapes going around here that's gonna reveal everything. The lies they told about you. It was not even about you. Okay, it was about your person, but your person wanted to cover their ass. But see, they were trying to ruin your reputation to save theirs. Okay. Your person was. Okay. Because they knew if they told the truth, it would ruin them. 
Your person is a three-headed snake here. Okay? They want to see a big argument or a fight here. That's what they wanted between you and the other, the third-party karmic. Okay? You was devastated. Yeah. Because you found out your person was lying on you. And they're going to receive some devastating karma for lying on you. Your person ain't nothing but a three-headed snake. Because now everybody's finding out the truth. That it wasn't you at all. It was your person. Your person was just trying to cover the shit up. Your person probably had rumors going around that you was in these sex tapes or whatever. Or you did some, you know. And, and this is why, why they chose to be with the karmic. This is why they turned on you for the karmic. And, but the karmic and them were just supposed to be friends. But they turned out to be lovers. Okay. That's why I said your person is a three-headed snake. A narcissist, a liar. Okay. They wanted you and the karmic to fight. Bottom line. They wanted you to fight over them. You wasn't, you wasn't going to do that. The most high told them to leave you the fuck alone. You're a rare jewel. You're the man of your fucking business. But see, now your person going to live and learn. A valuable lesson. And all these other motherfuckers that joined in. Oh, they knew. But they wrongfully blamed you too. Now they're going to get their karma too. Because see, this could have led to a big argument or a big fight. Okay. And whatever your person told the karmic about you, it, it, it infuriated this karmic. Okay. It pissed them the fuck off. And that's why they wanted to cause some trouble for you. But it was all unnecessary. Because you didn't do shit. You didn't do nothing. It was your person. Trying to cover their own ass. Yeah. They don't want to get caught up in a scandal. Okay. But they are. Okay. Mm -hmm. They weren't just friends. They was fucking lovers. Wow. What else is here, spirit? Now your person is feeling embarrassed because this truth is definitely coming out. Okay. Because Spirit said they played too many games. Okay. And somebody's masculine uh, walk around here with a, with a sick penis. All right. And can't face you because they lied. That wasn't their friend. That was a fucking lover. They tried everything to cover up their mess. But see, the, the most has revealing the truth about their ass. Okay. What they put you through was uncalled for and unjust. See, that's what Spirit said. Okay. They blamed the wrong lover. Now they're confused. Okay. They blame you for something and spread lies about you to cover their own ass is what I'm getting here. Okay. This could be your ex now. Now they somewhere want to apologize to you. Okay. Double confirmation on the apology. They may they wanna may want to come and confess. Okay. Yeah, because see in the beginning they never tried to fix it. They only made things worse to cover their own ass. That's what I'm getting here. This three headed snake. Yeah. Spirit's gonna reveal it all. They lied. And they're caught. They lied and they're caught. They're hurt and feeling really guilty right now for what they the trouble they caused you for no fucking reason. Put you in the middle of some bullshit. Okay? Because whoever this karmic is is very vengeful, hostile, and they're a liar too. Just like your person. Okay. Some of y'all might have already left y'all person. They shocked that y'all just walked away like that. Because they, they they thought that you would be okay with this shit or you would forgive them or something if they apologized. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, damn, they was just trying to see which one of y'all would fight for them, I guess. I don't know what the fuck this three-headed snake was thinking about, but they, they had it all wrong. Yeah. They was down low lovers. So I'm getting that somebody's person um, was fucking around with a down low lover and it's going to be revealed on the damn sex tape. Okay. And this is what they was trying to keep people from finding out. Okay. Wow. That they weren't just friends. So if this could be a masculine. Down low with another masculine. Or this could be a feminine. Down low with another feminine here. Take it how it resonates. Put it where it goes. Spirit said. They never tried to fix the lies. They never tried to fix shit. They just wanted to keep lying on you. To keep covering. So you wouldn't find out that they was actually down low lovers. They weren't friends. They was fucking lovers. Okay. Wow. Somebody in hot water behind this shit. And it sure ain't you collective. And they can't live with the guilt. Spirit told them to leave you alone. They didn't listen. Now they're going to have to pay a price. 
And them groupies had a lot to say at first, but they ain't got shit to say now. And that, that these sex tapes revealed everything. That it wasn't you. That your person was on the down low. And that's what they was trying to cover up. That's why they was trying to put shift the blame on you. Shift everything on you. Make it look like whatever was going on, uh, it was your fault. Whatever conflict was going on was your fault. They put you through this bullshit for nothing. That's what Spirit said. They had you tormented. They wanted you tormented and everything. They didn't care about that. But somebody realized that they had conflicting stories here. Oh, wow. Your person know they did you wrong. They tried playing the victim here. Mm-hmm. But somebody's running scared now because the truth then came out. But see, if they'd have told the truth, it could it could have made things a little easier. If they'd have told you they was on the down low, that it wasn't their friend, it was, it was their lover. But instead, they wanted you two to fight. Wow. Tormented you for fun, for jokes here. Jokes on them now. Okay. They ain't laughing now. Because they, they they about to get a, a, a damn karmic ass whipping from the most high. Yeah, this has been going on for a while. Okay, this ha could have been an extremely emotional time in your life. Okay, to go through this. Okay. But your person has been sexually attracted to them, to the karmic. Okay, they down low lover. They weren't friends, they was lovers. Okay, that's what Spirit said. A few more. They confused on how you found out. You found out through the sex tapes. It came out. Somebody came up with the truth. The sex tapes revealed everything about that person. Your person's so-called friend that they want you to fight was actually their down or lover. They were actually lovers. Okay, and they never tried to fix the situation. They let people believe the lies about you. They put put you under the bus. They gonna never they gonna wish they never did this to you. They gonna wish they never did this to you because the most high told them to leave you alone. Okay. Now they can't face you that this truth is out about them being on the down low. Oh, this truth is out. And to top it off, they had sex with a down low lover in your home. And they just trying to turn this karmic against you. They should have friends on them, you know, just left them as a friend and not as a fucking down low lover. And none of this shit would have happened. Now they can't face you because the truth is coming out about their raggedy ass, okay? Yeah, you ruffling some feathers, okay? Or these sex tapes going to ruffle some feathers here because the shit. There's some other motherfuckers involved and they feelings are in it too. I said it's like a domino effect here. Yeah, you're playing that you're playing ass person, karmic ass cheater, about to get some devastating ass news here. Okay. You have divine protection from the most high, whoever you are. Okay. I'm going to get one out of here. And then I'm going to close out. Collective. Well, these sex tapes going to reveal everything. They're going to reveal the truth. Okay. Your person just gonna have to face it. They was being toxic. Mm -hmm. Now they wanna sing like a bird and confess. Okay. Your person was out here being an all out tramp. Okay. What else? What else does the collective need to be aware of? Holy Spirit. Oh, you're going to set yourself free from this shit. And you're about to be independent. You're about to ride, up, ride off and be from all this fucking drama. Because you didn't deserve none of it. You divinely protected. The most high is protecting you. Yeah. Your person's going to wish they never, never did this to you. Period. Because they, they never expected the outcome. As long as the blame was on you, they thought they were safe. And once they realized it was on them, they can't handle it. They should have appreciated you more, but at the time, they didn't care. They didn't care about the lies floating around about you. And this was your own person, okay? That was cheating on you. That was on the fucking DL, okay? Wow. What else? Your person was out here being an all-out tramp. Then you take the fall for everything because they were too cowardly to face what they was fucking doing, okay? Yeah, got had this karmic infuriated at you. They had a bunch of rumors, uh, lies, and gossip, and they was... Turning on you for the karma. The fuck is wrong with your three headed snake ass person here? Well, I know that ain't your person no more because you you now you're independent. Okay, you're about to be. 
Oh, you're taking the lead on this shit. Okay. Hmm. Somebody found them tapes. Somebody did a little investigating because it was too many lies floating around. And shit has started getting heated up is what I'm getting here. So somebody decided to explore into this matter a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that's why your player is about to get some devastating news here. When these sex tapes come out and find out that your person was on the DL with this other person. I don't know who this other person is. Mm -hmm. They're going to be made to chew on that shit. Okay. Because somebody about to solve this whole situation that they got you into for no motherfucking reason. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to have to do some deep thinking on this one. Because they're about to get some devastating news. Your person is for playing you. Yeah, you about to be independent and single. You don't want shit to do with this motherfucker no more. You'd rather be alone and, and um, by yourself than to be with this fucking troublemaker. One more spirit. You got divine protection from the most high. Okay. Your person was thought you never found out the little stupid game they was playing with they three headed snake ass. Okay, fucking with a Jezebel tramp here. Okay. All these lies is coming out the woodwork. Okay. That they told on you. Okay. They could have cleared your name by telling the truth, but they didn't. They pointed the finger and blamed you, the wrong one. They was hiding a major truth from you. Because they didn't want it to get out that they was on the down low. Okay. But see, the most high will always reveal the truth to you. Okay. Especially when you're in the right. Okay. Yeah, this group has had a lot to say at first. Okay. This copycat slut. This karmic feminine. Or this karmic masculine. Take out resonates. Okay. No, none of this was your fault. Okay, that's what Spirit said. None of this was your fault. Okay. They put you through enough. Tiptoeing around the truth. Trying to save face for they self. This three-headed snake you was dealing with. Okay. That they friend wasn't they friend. They friend was a karmic lover. On the down low. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they about to get exposed for cheating. With down low lover. Wasn't their friend, it was their lover. And they told a bunch of lies and gossip about you. Wow. They gonna be nervous and confused about so how you found out. Through the sex tapes. Somebody gonna tell you. Somebody gonna look into it. And now they're worried about the consequences. What's gonna happen next? Because the domino effect. They got some. This player got some devastating news. Coming their way. Because the most had told them hands off you. Okay. Whoever you was fucking with was truly a coward. To want to see you and somebody else fight over there. That's some coward ass shit. They knew it alone that they was fucking this person behind your back. They knew they was fucking this person behind your back and they was on a DL. But they rather for the lies to circulate about you than the truth to, to come out about them and what the fuck they was doing. You know what I'm saying? They could have just been honest. Could have made things better. That's what Spirit said. But whoever you are, this message needed to reach you. That's what Spirit said. You're going to be all right. You're going to be protected. I don't know. Maybe somebody has some hidden cameras. And this is how they caught the shit on the sex tapes. And this is how the lies going to be revealed if they try to, you know, start shit with you about. When it was only something your person was hiding. Your person was trying to turn you and the karmic against each other so y'all wouldn't speak to each other. So you would never find out the truth about them and the karmic so-called friend that turned out to be lover was on a down low. Could have been two masculines or two feminists. Either way, go the truth coming out. That your your masculine or your uh, your karmic masculine or your karmic feminine was having a secret affair with your fucking brother or your sister. That shit coming out. That's what they didn't want to come out. Oh wow. I don't know. You may be feeling angry, frustrated when you find this out. That shit. They was having a secret affair with your brother or your sister. Well, that's what I have for you now. Until um, next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste for now.